اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session, I introduced Smart PLS 4 series and we are to work on this particular model. Now, let's say you've collected your data and you want to enter your data in either SPSS or Excel. Now, once you have collected data on this particular model for all these variables, let's assume this is your questionnaire. whereby these are your cons constructs and these are the items measuring the construct. Now, this construct here is organizational learning and these are the items measuring organizational learning. So, the first thing that one should do is code all these items. So, how would I code these items? The easiest way is, for example, this item is the first item and is measuring organizational learning. So, you can code it as OL1. Let's say OL1. Now, this should be O L two. Similarly, this could be O C one. And again, this could not be O C one because we already have a O C one. So what we can do is we can say like O R C one, organizational commitment one. Similarly, O C two, three, four, five, six. O R C one, O R C two, three, four, five. Now, how do you do this in S P S S? Now go to variable view. And in the name, you type in, let's say, OL1. The second should be OL2, OL3. Similarly, you can add all your variables or items from the questionnaire into SPSS. The second thing is, since it's, it is a statistical package, normally it is preferred that you represent all your variables, that is, their values, in numeric terms. So, What I'll do is, for the scale that I've used, strongly disagree is referred to as 1, disagree 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, these are the numbers representing these options in the scale. You can define them here. For example, 1 is strongly disagree, 2 is agree, 3 is somewhat agree, 4 is neutral, 5 is somewhat disagree, 6 is disagree, 7 is strongly disagree. Now, once you have done it for one, you just copy it, select the rest of them, paste them here. If you've got missing values, you can define discrete missing values or you can have a range plus one optional discrete missing value. Normally, I leave it empty, but you can have discrete missing values as well. Columns. If you've got data here that may not fit this space, then you can extend the column size. You can do it here or you can do it here as well. This is the alignment of the text within the cells. Well, it depends on how you want to read it. Now, this is the measure for this particular item or variable. Is it nominal, ordinal or scale? Scale means interval and ratio. Now, SPSS combines interval and ratio into scale. And this is input variable target both. You want to split the file based on this variable. You can do it here as well. In this case, I'm going to leave it for input. Similarly, you can have your other variables like gender, age, the demographic variables. You can have their values defined. One is male, two is female, and you can refer to it as a nominal variable. Although this is not required, but it is always a good practice to put in your measure. This does not affect the analysis results. And similarly, you can define all your variables here. You can have your demographic variables at the top or maybe at the bottom. It doesn't matter. This is how you can define the variables in the variable view. And once you have defined them, get hold of your questionnaire. It's always a good idea to make sure if you've got your questionnaires in print, you number your questionnaires. Let's say I've got one in front of me now this is the first question so i'll number it one so once it's numbered the first questionnaire was filled by mail and the first response was from one to seven they they selected five then for the second one five as well for the third one seven maybe now similarly you will fill all these variables and you will fill for all the different respondents in the study now once you are done with this 
you will have to check it for errors. Now how to do this? I'll share the videos as well on how to check for errors. Now once your data is entered and checked for errors, you can import it into PLS4 and I'm going to talk about it, how to do it. Similarly, you can define your data in Excel as well. How to do it? Let's say again, you just name the variables at the top of the sheet. Row number one, the first variable is gender. The second is let's say age. The third is job rank. The fourth is let's say now you've got your variables or your constructs, OL2, OL3, OL4, OL5, let's say OC1, OC2. Again, I've got the questionnaire in front of me. It's the first questionnaire, so you can say N minus one. So two minus one, this is the first questionnaire. If you are entering in Excel, let's say it was filled by male, the age was 24, the job rank was, let's say junior, you can refer to it as one for junior. And again, the scale, six, five, four, four, whatever, whatever options they have selected, you can enter them. Similarly, you add it for all the variables that you have in your questionnaire. Now once done, again, check it for mistakes, check it for errors. Although I haven't made a video yet on how to check for errors in Excel, but you can again check for minimum and maximum values using min, minimum and maximum formula in Excel. For example, what you can do is you can just type in Excel and write minimum and then maximum, select the range and then find out if you are adding or if you have added any value that is incorrect. Now once you are done with this, the good thing about Smart PLS4 is it accepts SPSS file as its input and Excel file as well and it accepts CSV file as well. So what you can do is, let's say, let me save it. So let's say we create a new project. Let's say test and you can import your data file wherever it is and look at this. You can have CSV, Excel. In this case, I've got CSV file. You can have your CSV file if you go to X SPSS and just click file, save as, select comma delimited and save your file and import it into Smart PLS4. Now how to do this? We are going to talk about this in coming videos that how to define the project, how to import the data file. Now the objective of this particular session was just to explain to you how to enter data in SPSS and Excel. Thank you very much.